Hi everyone, my name's Adrian Beret. Uh, I'm a sports physiotherapist and I'm sitting here having coffee with Dr. Max Nelson, Thank PhD. You. And uh, Max is going to uh, be a presenter at a fundraising event and uh, cycling education um, evening we're having later next month. And I just asked Max to spend a little bit of time today talking about uh, his background in cycling, uh, a little bit about his uh, progress um, as an academic and uh, where he is uh, working at the moment. So Max, a bit about your cycling history. Yep, so I've been a, uh, started off as a runner originally, so and then when I was about 18, 19 came to the dark side or the good side, I guess you should say, uh, and have been a keen cyclist ever since, so that's been the last six or seven years, something along those lines. Uh, still a recreational plotter, I'd like, I'd probably think I'm better than I am, but I usually do 300 k's a week, something like that. Uh, there's not much of me, so naturally I like the hills more than uh, dragging it away on the flat, uh, but you know, it's something that I've uh, taken a big liking to and uh, spend a lot of time, probably more time and more money than I should on it, but uh, it's something that I've become a bit ravenous for information in as well. Uh, every aspect of the physiology, the performance, the motivation, the nutrition, the gear, the technology are uh, things that I you know, look into quite heavily and hopefully know a bit about by this point. Thanks, Max. And uh, you are a uh, PhD mm -hmm. and you're working at the University of South Australia. What, yep. uh, what do you do there at the moment? Uh, so I'm a lecturer in exercise and sports science, so I coordinate the subjects uh, in exercise delivery uh, and exercise physiology is where I do most of my work. Um, I did a human movement degree originally, so I finished that in 2011, no, 2010, and then I did an honours year in 2011 uh, doing a study on the effects of fatigue on the heart rate of elite cyclists. Um, we're primarily looking at things like heart rate variability, heart rate acceleration. Uh, I then did a PhD that I started in 2014, which I finished in 2017. I uh, got to wear the floppy bonnet on stage and uh, graduated uh, with my PhD then. Uh, and since 2016, so when I was in my PhD, I've been employed by the university as a lecturer in exercise. 